Andrew came right into SubCat for the cool recording class. Eric was excited for he knew this would be the perfect place to have a blast. away. Give the kids a lot of really intense instruction and mentorship. That's a, a real key to this program. And tell them repeatedly that they could do it. To me, I think it's a, a, a great goal to see how people um, with a disability uh, don't have that disability when they can be in an environment where the technology provides uh, no limitations. you got to look at it yeah. from two different levels. You're working with kids who have a 12th grade reading ability and musician ability, and then you're working with fourth or fifth grade. I'm just, I found a picture of the recording studio downstairs, and I could like get, like, detect, like, this is on here, but I could like stick the kids on. And in a way, that's what we're going to do tonight. Uh, things like uh, an approach would be supportive. One teacher takes a lead, others rotate among the students to provide support. I could see that happening in a number of, of ways and settings that we've already experienced. So, you know, that one is, that is pretty good. Or maybe uh, a mentor is doing the correction. So they can come over and do some hand-on-hand, -hand, help roll the cables, or help help understand how to set the, the stand up or that kind of thing. I think the biggest challenge of a program like this is it is so multifaceted and it has so many layers of learning that have to take place uh, so that everybody gets the most out of it. Evaluate what happens. Do some assessment with our interactions with the students on Monday and the kinds of activities that we do and then we'll see where we're at. And then at that point, we can move forward, okay? This is a recording studio. And in a recording studio, one cable out of place, uh, one switch pushed in or pushed out uh, can cause uh, the whole thing to stop. And then we have to figure out why that is. And we really wanted them to learn by doing and being a part of that. And uh, those teachers became the tech mentors. Uh, they work side by side with the students. And how we would go about that, we had long discussions. and This is a very overwhelming experience, but it's a lot of fun. Um, we've learned different things about being in the recording studio, the software that you use, the different types of microphones, the different types of wires, the different types of preamps. Um, and it's going to be a lot of fun to convey that knowledge to all of the kids that are coming in. In just the short amount of time we've been here, it's, it's just been really eye-opening, and I've, I've learned a ton. And I'm excited. I'm waiting for one kid to come in and they're going to know so much more than I am and I'm just going to be standing there with a blank expression on my face. Uh, you know, I think a lot of them are not included in a lot of the things in their schools and I'm excited to give them the opportunity to be included and, and do something productive and something that they can really get something out of. Just seeing their excitement at being in the studio and teaching them as much as I can about how everything works and, and actually getting to make some music with them, definitely. And I think I've got it all up here, but you don't ever really know until you try to teach it to somebody. So we'll know for sure next week. Having a ha ha, this is how it works moment. The aha moments are the best. Anyway, this, this dude right here, this, this is the guy, right? Yeah. Right? Yep. You are the inspiration. You are the for inspiration this. for this whole thing. Ready? Go! La 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 do our T's. So we'll, we'll our put tees. the words in for this one. We don't need to do la. Let's do the words yep. and watch the T's. And maybe we all, I'll, we can all do it. Yeah. You do it, Lynn, you can do it too. So we make sure everyone sees our T's. Oh, you want me to do the T's? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Do the T's with us so no one can miss it. All right? Okay, here we go. Ready, set, go. So cat, so cat, so cat.
I can't even describe how, how cool of an experience this was. I mean, there's no limit to what they can do. If you give a kid a chance and tell them that they can do something, uh, there, there's nothing they couldn't do. Sometimes when you have a, um, a developmentally disabled or a special needs child, the schools tell you all this stuff about your child. And I remember that they told me that Gabe would never read and write, Gabe wouldn't do this, Gabe wouldn't do that. And I remember sitting in that room with these 10 people around the room telling me all the things that he couldn't do. And I was thinking to myself, but this is my baby, and I'm home with him, and I know what he can do, and I know what I expect him to do. These kids, they don't, they don't get this kind of stuff from people, you know, or from the institutions that we got, like, you know, the schools and stuff. They, they teach them the basics. They teach them, you know, how to live. And they don't, you know, foster this creativity that they have. I remember doing the recordings and doing how how to do the 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 control room and how to play music. I never set the bar lower for Gabe than I did for his brothers. I expected the same thing from him as I did for for the rest of them. I have to say that the program actually has changed me and I almost consider going for a major in engineering as music engineering. They were encouraged and encouraged to grow and encouraged to do things and I, they just stepped right up to the plate. Just watch them, you know, and that's what I think this program did was allow the next generation of teachers to experience this drive that these kids have. It's hard for any kid, regardless of their uh, personal difficulties, to work in a studio, let alone kids that have developmental disabilities. Um, but it's really amazing because they can fulfill it just as good as anybody else. Disabilities in my mind are, are not disabilities. They're just 
slight limitations, you know, and everybody makes too, too much out of it. You know, they don't, and then they push them aside. A lot of teachers are afraid of inclusion because they don't know what might happen. You know, what, if I, if I don't do something right, you know, what could happen? You know, all these things that are what ifs. And, you know, what I learned is that, there, you know, we took the chance and we showed that there was no problem. These kids were able to do everything. So, so definitely give them the opportunity. And, and I think we were all surprised with how well they, they did with everything. Thank you everybody who helped with Subcat, John, Jim, everybody who um, volunteered for it, people who gave grants for, so it could happen. I just hope that uh, everyone who's, who's been here experiencing this, uh, the process, working with the students in the studio, working with Alex, just spending time that uh, uh, when, they, when they work with them, when they teach them, whether it's in school or, or on, on the street, and encounter a person with a disability, someone who's very different, like my son Alex, that they, uh, that they remember the experience, and, and, and I hope it occurs to them that, that uh, there's few limitations when you give uh, people a chance, and that doesn't that apply to everybody, not just him, but you and me too. Right? Yeah. No limits.